Okay, we're doing very well so far. So, we're going to continue with this magnificent progress we're making by getting this down pose sorted. So, let's go back to my uh, reference video that I've cut now. And this one here is the down pose. This is what we're going for. And we see the timing here is frame four. So, let's, uh, let's get this one sorted. So, on frame four, what we're going to do is... Um, yeah, definitely some work needed on frame four. This this does not look good. Right, so we're going to move to frame four, and the first thing I'm going to do is just move the hips down slightly. Okay, the reason it's called the down pose is because things move down a little bit. Okay, then I'm going to select the front foot, which is the right foot. This is the one that's coming backwards. And I'm going to remove from this the foot roll. So I'm going to set that to zero. You can see that plants it firmly on the ground, which is what we want. We want now that, that foot is, is connected with the ground properly. Okay, then we're going to select the back foot. And from this one, we're going to take off the foot break. Uh, and that should kind of straighten the foot out um, because there's no tiptoe, you know, there's no bending the toe happening now. The next thing we want to do is place that foot back on the ground because it shouldn't be raising yet. This is the uh, the down pose is where you kind of build your momentum. So you're pushing off with that back foot. So to do that, we're just gonna set the translate Y value of this foot to zero. And you can see that puts it back in contact with the ground. Okay, the last thing I want to do is I want it to kind of look like this back foot is pushing off. So you can see here, kind of the main contact point of the foot is just where this uh, this part of the foot is here uh, and that's just before this line so on frame four I want to just push this back a little bit so that's kind of the same the same area and it'll just hopefully look like that's pushing off which is what we're going for so that there is our first down pose complete so what we'll be doing in the next step if you've noticed the pattern yet is we'll be putting in the reverse down pose